How do you set this first problem up? Say it again. Right? The equation is this one, isn't it? The amount of money that you end up with is a function of the principal that you start with times 1 plus r over n time. I'm sorry, to what power? To the nt power. So to the nt power, right? So we're starting with this idea. If we deposited $50,000 in an account, we're going to get paid 3%. Somebody convert this 3%. This is up. Somebody's going to mess this up, isn't it? What is 3% as a decimal? Sawyer. 0 0.03. Right? If we put here, if we put in 0.3, that's 30% interest. I mean, congratulations, but it's not 3%, is it? I guess if you're receiving that interest, that'd be good. But if you're paying it, that'd be terrible. So what does it look like if we do this annually? The amount of money we make is what? Is right. 50,000, right, just set it up as an equation. 50,000 times, really? Times? So I'll wait. what's the one for? What is this one for here? Right, it's 100%. So this is our 100% of our money back. So it's 1.03. Are we in agreement on that? To what power? Yes. Two. Nick? Two, right? Compounding periods is one. That's in. One times two years is two. <clears throat> what about this one? If you set it up this way, what does it look like? Ms. Irvin? Okay, 50,000. Good, 0.03 over 4, right? Why? Quarterly is 4, isn't it? To what power? To the eighth power, right? Four compounding periods, two years of that is eight compounding periods total, isn't it? So we'll figure out that equals to, and what does this look like? Let's do this one. What does this look like? Uh-huh. 50,000. Raised to the 735. That looks pretty good, doesn't it? It's kind of sad here. It looks like you're gonna get you're gonna get your three percent divided by 365. It's pretty lousy, isn't it? But look how many compounding periods total you're gonna get. So it's gonna work out pretty good. So hopefully you went from there. You went to your calculator, didn't you? Yes, I did, sir. Yes, I did. Everybody, anybody who's watching this video is like, who's he talking to? No, nobody. I'm here all by myself, evidently. Oh, nice. Really nice. That's fine. That's definitely good. So, all I'm going to do is set this up exactly the way we had it before. And this is how you should have set it up in your calculator. You should have set it up. Stay with me. 50,000, 50, 1, 2, 3. Open parentheses, 1 plus 0 0.03. Right? In this case, we just got to the second power, didn't we? Yes? Wow, thank you. I'm your banker. I was just seeing if you were paying attention. I was going to buy myself something fancy. And how much? Is this going to be a lot of money or a little bit of money? How much money is this going to be? Any guesses? <clears throat> Hundreds, thousands is going to be. Yes. Maybe thousands. What's our, what was our, how much interest did we make? $3,045 interest, right? Take your print, take your, take your new balance minus your old balance. That's the interest you made, isn't it? 
So what does the next one look like? Are you setting this up in your calculator exactly the same way? If you're using, if you're not using a, a CAS, <clears throat> actually it will work fine. Just if you're going to do something like, if you're going to do 0.03 divided by 365, make sure you put parentheses around both sides of it. Does that make sense? So this is the one for quarterly, isn't it? So 50,000, 1, 2, 3, four. is that 50,000, Nick? I have one plus here. I'm going to hit control division, control division, and it's 0 0.03 over what? Over four. And what power was this to the eighth power? Is that all good? So what I'm saying to you here is this: if I was using a TI, if I was using a TI-89 or TI-83 or whatever, I would put this number over this, and it's their own separate parentheses inside there. That makes sense, Angela. Okay. And how much money is this going to be? It's going to be a lot better, a little bit better. A little bit better. I mean, I could use that money, right? What's What's the difference? Like thir about thirty-five dollars difference, something like that. I don't know. I could use the money. I'm. Just, Somebody said 34.9. I'm sorry. I thought it was like somewhere near 35. I know, right, Emily? Thank you very much. Let's do the last one. 50,000, 50, 1, 2, 3. Open the parentheses. 1 plus control division. Are you doing this at the same time? 0 0.03 divided by 365. Is this going to be a lot better or just slightly better? Anybody have any feeling on this? Slightly? And it was to the 730, is that right? Isn't that crazy? And this is what Euler is going to, pay attention please, this is what Euler is going to prove to us later is that at some point the number of compounding, increasing the number of compounding periods has less of an effect. Otherwise, wouldn't you just want it compounded like every second? You could do that. How would you do that? How would you find How would you set that up? Compound it per second. For two years. So here's our two years. Times how many days? Is it a leap year? <laughs> Mommy, how come I don't have any friends? 365 days, right? 365 days times 24 hours. Somebody's going to test this math online, and they're going to get back to us on this and say, that was totally stupid, that didn't work. But this one times 24 days, Nick, uh, 24 hours in each day times 60 minutes per hour times 60 seconds per minute. Is that possible that's how many seconds? In two years? It just doesn't seem like that long, does it? 